STPI creating India's IT future single window clearance datacom services incubation services 52 centers across India regional development substantial contribution to GDP foreign exchange earnings Information technology has played a key role in India's growth story. In the last two decades, the Indian information technology and information technology enabled service industry has contributed significantly to the growth of the Indian economy in terms of GDP, foreign exchange earnings and employment generation. A large part of this growth is dependent on the outsourcing or offshoring services provided by the Indian IT companies. This growth has been enabled by a supportive fiscal and regulatory environment provided by the Indian government. For last two decades, STPI has been serving the IT exporters through its unique single window clearance system. Speedy approvals by STPI coupled with other promotional services to the IT industry have attracted a number of entrepreneurs to venture into IT arena. Many of such entrepreneurs have established themselves as global IT majors. We are now regarded as most preferred IT destination. The IT industry in the country has matured enough to venture into R&D and IPR development. A need is also being felt to disperse the IT industry to smaller towns for balanced regional growth. In this regard, government is taking a number of initiatives and STPI is set to play a vital role to take the industry to the next level during this decade. Software Technology Parks of India through administration of Software Technology Park and Electronic Hardware Technology Park schemes and provisioning of high-speed data communication to the software exporters has played a seminal role in the phenomenal growth of the IT and ITES sector in India. STPI has played a very stellar role in promoting the IT and ITS industry in the last two decades. This was a very unique model. A government organization which worked in partnership with industry helped entrepreneurs and brought industry where this market wasn't existing and it created one. The, as a single point clearance, uh, STPI ensured that businessmen could focus on their work in getting and delivering to their customers whereas all the procedural issues were taken care of STPI. STPI has a big role in the years ahead. Today entrepreneurship is booming once again, but this is a new kind of entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs who are focusing on products, entrepreneurs who are leveraging internet and mobile, entrepreneurs who are going to develop products in a very short time and address both domestic and international markets. We need to go to tier two, tier three cities. Today, 90% of the work happens in large cities, but entrepreneurship is spawning all across. In this phase, STPI once again is expected to set up incubator centers, ensure that there is a single point clearance, and help simplify the complex processes that we sometimes get into. We look forward to STPI being remembered after a decade again for having promoted young and new emerging companies. All the best STPI. Apart from the statutory, promotional and datacom services, STPI has been providing incubation facilities for software exporters, especially to small and medium entrepreneurs and startup units. STPI has also helped in proliferation of private IT parks across the country, which in turn has contributed to the growth of the Indian IT industry. The software exports have had an exponential growth in the last decade and is expected to grow at a steady rate in the coming years also. The IT industry has contributed substantially to the country's GDP and foreign exchange reserves. 
Direct employment in IT and ITES have shown a rising trend even during the recession period. Favorable government policies have also led to a multiplier effect for IT startups in India. Today, India has built a clear competitive edge over other players in the global IT and ITES industry and earned a reputation as an information technology superpower. STPI played a very seminal role in development of the software export industry from India. Uh, you know, this was pre-liberalization time and during that time it created an island where software exporters could actually move in and live their dream. Uh, it did provide tax incentives, you know, a whole lot of the inspector, uh, the customs and all of that stuff was entirely avoided if one operated out of STPI. But more importantly, it became a place where incubation of software export could happen. People could move in there, uh, you know, the consultation would be provided, uh, they would have, uh, you know, high speed links and because of all those reasons, uh, Indian software export success would not have happened had STPI not played that seminal role. It provided a single window clearance for various things that uh, uh, companies wanted to do. It also took information technology into tier 2 and tier 3 towns. It went to B class cities, C class cities. There are more than 50 centers that it created and really speaking was uh, uh, was the most important factor for the development of India software export boom. As far as the future is concerned, what STPI needs to do is to translate that same success into ESDM policy. Uh, India has had tremendous success in the software field. Can that be replicated in hardware, uh, in, in uh, semiconductors and other areas? And for that, it again needs to nurture entrepreneurship. It needs to create uh, intellectual property protection. It needs to take that advisory role. It needs to once again create that island where excellence can happen in the hardware industry. India is now regarded as one of the most favored destination for IT outsourcing. STPI was both a mentor, a guide and a facilitator to this first breed of IT entrepreneurs. This first breed of IT entrepreneurs had certain things in common. One, they did not come from business families. They came from families that may not be as affluent. There was not as vibrant an ecosystem for entrepreneurship as it exists today. And these set of entrepreneurs had a huge hunger, a huge drive, a huge aspiration to make a difference not only to themselves but to this country and STPI was there all along that way when these entrepreneurs made a difference. Today these entrepreneurs are ready reckoners for us and they are iconic entrepreneurs. Now is the time for the second wave of IT development in this country. The first wave was catalyzed around arbitrage. The first wave was catalyzed around the development of work in India for a client that was based outside of India. The change that is coming about now, this change is driven by multiple factors. The first of that is that India itself has become a large market. There is social acceptability around entrepreneurship and there is a need for change in the economy. Today, STPI can again play the role of a catalyst and facilitator in the rollout of the second wave which is around the domestic market, which is around IPR, which is around product development and which is around the creation of products that are suited for the Indian market. These products which are based on the India price point but build for global markets will radically transform India. This success has not been achieved overnight. Initially, there were many problems for the IT entrepreneur. The policies for software exports were stringent and complicated. Lack of infrastructure was impeding the development of IT industry and consequently the true potential was not being realized fully. And our share of the world IT and ITES market remained rather insignificant. 
keeping in view the above factors, the then Department of Electronics, Government of India, conceived the STP scheme to give boost to the software industry in general and software exports in particular. Software Technology Parks of India has played a very critical role in the development of the Indian software export industry. From the time they were started in 1991, they've had a phenomenal impact. As a result of STPI, all companies, big and small, were able to create their own infrastructure. There was one single point where they could get all their approvals, all their clearances, and consequently, the Indian IT industry was able to invest in its growth by building its own infrastructure which became world class and if we look back at the records we would see that that is a time when the Indian IT industry began to really take off and accelerate its growth. The best thing about STPI was that it worked in close partnership with industry. In virtually all of the STPI leadership understood what the issues were, industry and STPI sat closely, worked together and as a result, all government policies, rules, regulations were observed without slowing down the pace at which industry could grow. If it hadn't been for the establishment of STPI, I do not think that the Indian IT industry would have crossed $100 billion today. Uh, it was very visionary leadership from the Ministry of IT at that time and from NASCOM which was a software industry body to work together and architect a new scheme that virtually built our entire industry from scratch. Today, when we have crossed $100 billion, the role of STPI can be different. And I'm really delighted that STPI today, the Ministry of IT today, is looking at transforming STPI into a vehicle that will encourage entrepreneurship in the country by looking at incubation, by looking at other forms of support, training, etc. that can be done. Today, all of the investment that was made in infrastructure, in people, in government officers who understand the industry can be leveraged for what is the need of the hour. More entrepreneurs, building products, uh, an area that now needs more growth as the services industry has become mature. And I for one really look forward to STPI playing a critical role in its new avatar in the same way that it played in the old times when the industry got established. STPI was established and registered as a society under the Societies Registration Act 1860 under the then Department of Electronics Government of India on June 5, 1991. Initially, Software Technology Parks STPs, were established at Hyderabad, Noida, Gandhi Nagar and Thiruvananthapuram. In September 1991, the management of STPs at Pune, Bhuvaneshwar and Bangalore were also brought under STPI. The main objectives of STPI include providing the development and export of software and software services including information technology enabled services and bio-IT, providing statutory services and promotional services to the exporters by implementing software technology park and electronics hardware technology park schemes providing data communication and other value-added services to IT and ITES related industries, promoting micro, small and medium entrepreneurs by creating conducive environment for entrepreneurship in the field of IT and ITES. STPI was started with two objectives. First was to decentralize decision-making which till then was taking place in Delhi. And the belief was that by decentralizing, the government would be reducing friction to business for software companies. The second objective was to provide 
a robust data communication facility using satellite technology. I must say that this idea of Mr. N. Little, who was then the Secretary of the Department of Electronics, took off like wildfire. It added extraordinary value to the software industry and I would say that one of the main reasons why the software industry took off in 1991-92 and has reached the levels that it has in becoming uh, the in, in, in India becoming the software center of the world is primarily due to the software technology park model that was designed by the then Department of Electronics and continued by the Ministry of uh, Information Technology. I am very, very grateful to STPI for all the wonderful policies that they have put in place and everybody in the software industry in India must be very, very grateful to them. Entrepreneurship is extremely important in translating ideas into wealth and in creating jobs. Of course, these are, as everybody knows, extremely important for the progress of a country like India. That is where I believe uh, the new projects at SDPI in helping entrepreneurs incubate their ideas and creating intellectual property is going to be extremely useful for the country. I wish STPI the best of success in this venture too. For achieving a balanced growth of the IT sector, STPI has a presence in every part of the country. Out of total 52 centers, 45 centers fall under the Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. By developing an ecosystem congenial for IT startups in these Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities, STPI has helped the overall development of these regions. Wherever an STPI center comes up, it brings with it an upgradation of the local infrastructure facilities, government support, and upgradation of the social and living environment along with substantial employment opportunities. STPI centers have also had positive effects on the local workforces, standards of living, culture, as well as literacy levels. STPI has played a key role in the phenomenal development of the IT industry in the country during the last two decades. The industry has been moving up the value chain in the recent years. Accordingly, we are coming up with new policies for the development of entrepreneurship, for the development of Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities, and for creation of IP within the country. STPI is being repositioned to play the new role effectively. STPI, shaping India's IT future.